scheduled for one fall, 15 minutes. One fall, 15 minutes. Introducing this gargantuan, and a real giant he is, too, from Moosehead, Maine, at 310 pounds, the Golden Moose Cholak. Moose Cholak. Moosehead, Maine. His opponent is from Milan, Italy, making a long uh, absence, uh, returning to the ring after a long absence. Uh, he weighs in at 236 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Parenti. Tony Parenti. This is one fall or 15 minutes. There's Parenti. We haven't seen him for quite some time, as I indicated. Moose Cholak will be his opponent. And this could prove to be a very interesting and worthwhile match as Cholak, who takes every match, uh, every opponent he meets as a warm-up for the great one, he says, coming along when he's declared the champion. And uh, he will have to meet for a champion, of course, Gene Kaniski, but it makes no difference to him. Cholak says uh, whether it's Kaniski the champion, uh, whether it's Dick the Bruiser, or should he ever regain the championship, etc., 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 I am going to get it. And uh, <laughs> I think he, with an attitude like that, he very possibly might. One fall match, and uh, we're just about set. Here we go, there's the bell, and we're off. Parenti, much the smaller, but he's one of the wrestlers I like to refer to as the Gary Player of wrestling. He's small, but he packs a lot of dynamite, and he certainly knows how to come up with the moves and the winning combinations. There's a rollover, a front, front face drag, and a rollover by Cholak. There's a dive by Parenti, and we have a lot of good mat action here. A lot to start this match off. To an arm bar. And with a smaller man, the next move would be a step over. But Cholak makes the first quick step. And Parenti, underneath now, will have to find the way out. The splits. As Cholak has taken this toehold and really applied the leverage. Connie Marker, the referee. Commanded that break for pulling the trunks. There's a push-off. Meets him right at center ring, and Parenti, who had already geared himself to fly to the ropes, suddenly found that Cholak was not off his feet. Here we go again. There's a drop kick that backs him against the ropes. So what Parenti finds does not succeed the first time. He tries the second time with a slight variation in the drop kick. Cholak is exceptionally fast. Rolling under, diving for the legs. One of the reasons why he was an All-American in college. And another reason why he was not liked too well. Much similar to the actions of Bruiser when he wrestled, or when he played football. He didn't care whether it was legal or not as long as he didn't get caught. Exchange of forearms right there in the center of the ring, and off again goes Parenti to the ropes. Has back Cholak up slightly, but he responds quickly and comes up into the wrestling hole. Toe to the midsection. And another drag. Cholak holding the left arm of Parenti out to the side. He has the fingers extended, has not made a move to that hand as yet. As Connie watches all the action. There's a couple of good solid stomps right into the wrist. And again, it's legal. It's using 
the flat of the extremity, the flat of the hand, the flat of the foot is little boy, listen, talk about a ring giving. It sure gives when 330 goes down on it like that. And the shoulder's down for a count of one. As Parenti, with the leg lock, goes to work on the big beef. Cholak wrestles in golden boots, a sort of golden wrestling combination, black trunks, gold vest, and gold tights. And has made quite a bit of money off the identification as the golden moose. A bear hug on Peretti. As he puts Tony back into the ropes right in front of us and then uncorks a solid right to the stomach. Parenti fights off the rope. Meets him at center ring with a knee lift. And to the neutral corner. Marker allows him back to his feet. Connie's not too big. And if he doesn't stay out of the way, he could get in a lot of trouble in that ring. Into an arm bar. As the moose shows some good wrestling tactics and knowledge. Arm bar and wrist lock. There's a chop off the ropes by Parenti. Another forearm smash puts the moose down on his knees. Parenti moving in. There's a pretty good indication of how big that guy is. Well, oh, he's a monster. Head first. Your big wrestlers of today, big not only in stature, but big in name, use their feet a great deal. There's a judo chop by Cholak, as this match, which many thought would not last this long, has stayed on a pretty even keel so far. Armbar by Perenni, and he takes him down with it. Parenti really twisting it back. And again. Cholak back to his feet. Face first into that top rope. Takes him out again as Parenti goes out of the ropes this time right past us. And is laying off the apron. There's the big one from Moosehead, Maine. Now, now you can see how much he overshadows the size of the referee. Down again goes Parenti, and Marker really walks him back. He says, you let him in the ring, or I'm going to count you out. Count has reached six, seven. Only 2-7 as Parenti tries to bull his way back in with a tackle, makes it, steps through the ropes. And now Cholak wants to think it over. A couple of quick lightning jabs there by Cholak. Ducking under with a real fine move. Parenti comes up, pops a couple of good rights to the top of the head. And remember now, Cholak wearing these ear guards. And Parenti is slapping that right hand in there about as solid as any I've ever seen. Ooh, into the knee. And speaking of the ear guard, 
He used it there, the big splash, and down he goes. One, two, three. It's all over. This match, five minutes and 21 seconds. 5-21. Your winner...